Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is a food unboxing. Um, and I say it's an unboxing. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram, you would have got a sneak peek this week. I have been trying out the HelloFresh box. Um, and I managed to bag a free code. If anybody wants a free box code, do let me know. I think I've got three left. Um, and yeah, let's dive in. <laughs> Um, so basically, um, HelloFresh is a weekly or fortnightly food subscription. You pick your, so there's two of us for example, you pick your um, meals for the week. You have to pick by Thursday, and I will come back to that, and you get your meal sent to you on a Tuesday, for example. Um, I had a really good experience with the delivery, with the... Um, I had a really good experience with the delivery and um, it came by DVD, um, it was really fast, although it did it did come on the Tuesday, I think that's how they work it out, but yeah, I really like the whole ethos of the company and I'd seen it all over social media and YouTube and sponsored videos, which is, this is not sponsored, but I thought I'd give it a go. So, I picked my meals for the week. The only problem was is I had to put my free code in to view the meals for the week and if I'm honest I wish I'd waited because there wasn't a lot on there that really took my fancy. Now if you go on Gusto's website you can actually view it before you sign up. You can actually look at what's available that week, whether you want it or not, etc. So we picked three meals and that works out to be $29.99 and obviously I got my first box free and this is what we picked so i am going to insert some like pictures i say footage but it is on my instagram which i'll put my handle on the screen because i can't get it off my food highlights it's on my food highlights so i documented making this recipe so i will show you what we got so i picked um I'm really out of breath why when i do videos i'm always out of breath <laughs> so i picked um the curried vegetable pie with roasted broccoli and that's the one I document on my Instagram food highlight. Um, we picked the barbecue jackfruit open burgers. And we picked the Herbie sausage bolognese. Now I'm a veggie and I adapted this. I used half a sausage meat for my partner and I made corn mince with mine and I just added the sauce into mine and his was separate. So that's that. And it has really super easy instructions. Like, it's step to step, although I will say that some of the pictures don't match. My honest review, some of the pictures don't match the um, process. And I say this because I made this last night. That was our last meal of the week. We had three meals, so that's three evenings. Um, and I will show you. So here, it shows the jackfruit and it does it looks like pulled duck it looks like because jackfruit's meant to be pulled pork i've never had it before i've heard lots about it but it did not look like this it took me easily an hour and a half to get it to that stage so if you don't know how to make it um, i will put it on my blog but it comes in a can and it is like chunks of jackfruit that you have to like sort of like boil and then you shred with a fork and it becomes like the pulled pork texture. It took me a long time. So, um, so basically, my favorite recipe out of all of these um, had to be this. It's so good. Like I warmed it up the next day. It was really quick and easy to make. I warmed it up the next day. I had it for a tea the next day. It was really nice, really tasty. They were all tasty actually, but we weren't too keen on the jackfruit. It wasn't what we thought it was going to be. Um, and my partner's a fussy eater and he didn't like it at all. I wasn't too keen. It was a bit underwhelming. I'd rather be honest, like all the effort I put in to cook it, I was a bit like, oh, okay. But the chips were nice. The wedges were lovely. Um, this is really, this company, it's really, really good. I'm trying to be biased because I'll tell you why. I'm going to get to the negatives in a minute. 
It is really, really good if you're convenience. Like, you get home from work and you just don't have time to cook. We were getting in that stage where I was just buying the pre-made other meals, like from Marks and Spencer's or Asda, like luxury fish pie and things like that. And I was just shoving them in the oven for 40 minutes. And we were getting really convenient -y food. And this actually made me want to cook again, which is great. I am going to, um, like, put in pictures of how it arrives. But um, I'll explain that in a second. So, um, the pros of this, it's great. It is really good. And you do have some left over the next day. It's a good way to try new recipes. As I said, we've never tried that before. We wouldn't, I wouldn't dream of ever making that. So, it is really good. Um, my negatives are um, that, you can tell there's a lot of negatives. I'm going to be open and honest, and I'm, I really am. The negatives are that um, you use a lot of washing up. <laughs> like literally, I think I use like every pot and pan going. And I'm one of these people, I get really stressed out when I follow a recipe, even though I'm a, I think I'm a really good cook. But like, it's quite stressful. And the instructions I don't think are too good on some of the recipes. But as I've said, this is my first box. It's the first time I've had it. Um, it's my first box. It's the first time I've had it and also, I've got these recipes for good now, so I'm going to make this curry pie again. My partner said, can you chuck some corn chicken in it? That'd be really good. We're going to add more curry powder because it was a little bit more tomato than we liked. But I've got these recipes, so that's really, really good. I'm going to laminate these. Um, so let's get on how it arrives. So I will insert pictures as I'm talking about it. So as it arrives, it comes in a really big box. Each recipe card has a number on it. So it has number seven on that one, and you have a corresponding paper bag that it comes in. All the ingredients are weighed up. They are obviously not water, but yeah. All the ingredients are weighed up. They are each degree, like each recipe has all of its ingredients in that paper bag. You do get a lot of food. It's definitely worth it. You do get a lot of food and you do feel like you've home cooked a meal. Um, it's really well insulated. Like it came in like all the cool stuff come in a recycled like plastic kind of like um something you'd get in your loft that kind of feeling but it came really well chilled um really good there was no negatives about the packaging everything arrived safe none of it was damaged it was fabulous um now my only negatives are is communication with um the customer service and I'm gonna be open and honest that customer service is awful I I awful I'm quite furious about it because I had an email saying please pick your your next menu by this date which was the Saturday which was yesterday I'll put the date on the screen um, so I got the box on the Tuesday obviously I was in cuckoo land about oh my god I got all this food I'm cooking and little did I know that the email that I got was an error email and I was actually meant to pick my next box by, like, if I wanted to cancel it or pick my items for that week, I had to do it by the Wednesday evening by 11.59. So I had the box and then the next day I had to pick my menu for the next week. So it kind of felt all a bit rushed and I didn't fully know that, but the email I had said, please pick by the Saturday. So, Long story short, Thursday morning I had money of, I had an email saying your payment has been declined um, of $29.99 and I was like, whoa, hang on, uh, I'm not meant to be picking this and I thought I had a long time. I was going to cancel it um, just because um, I just could not really afford it this week coming or I was going to stop my pause my delivery and have it every fortnight rather than every week. Because um, we did like it, we really did like it. I spoke to customer service and they were... The lady I spoke to was not helpful, I'm not going to say her name. She said, no, your order's already processed, it's already been sent to our suppliers, I cannot cancel your order, even though no money had been like left my account. I said, well, I don't want the box, I've still got a lot of food. Um, I know it's a subscription, I know that's how subscriptions work, but when I cancelled it and deactivated my account, it said I still owed them money. And I was like, hang on, but I don't want the box. So I was speaking to customer service, they were really good. She did give me £10 goodwill gesture off it, but
but I still owe them $19.99 um, for a box that I don't really want. Um, and that there's nowhere when you sign up that states that you have to, like if you cancel your account, you've got no way of canceling the box. Um, so like literally, I did this on Thursday morning at like half nine in the morning. So the order could have been canceled. I don't see why it couldn't have been. Um, she did say that the reason why is because it's been sent to their suppliers and like the food quality is brilliant, but they need like a certain amount of time to get it all delivered and prepared by Tuesday. But the, I don't know, long story short, if you don't pick by Wednesday night on Thursday morning, they pick your items for you. And because I put it as a veggie box, it was okay. But in your settings, you can put it down as vegetarian. But like the meals that they've picked, I went on there Thursday evening just to have a quick look. I reactivated my account, I had a look. Awful. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, they're awful. I didn't want this video to be negative, but it kind of is. I'm kind of pretty paid off, to be honest. Um, like they, there's two recipes that are really good, like a curry and something else. I think it's a stir fry, which is brilliant. Like we'll eat them. Um, but one is like a Moroccan bean soup. Like soup to me isn't an evening meal. Um, that's more like something I'd have at lunchtime or like make in the evening and have it the next day. So I'm not too happy about that. And I still have to pay them 19.99, which I can do with a bank transfer. But to be honest, the fact that I had an email saying it was Saturday I had paid by, then obviously I'm quite annoyed and I kind of don't want to pay them. I'm not going to lie. I am going to pay them, but I'm pretty annoyed. So the customer service is not good. I'm sorry, HelloFresh, if I am offending you, but I'm cheesed off. <laughs> but let's not put a negative on this video. The food is really good. You get a lot of food. It's good quality food. It has really good dates on it too. There wasn't such a rush where I had to like use it up. Um, I will say um, it did me make us eat like things we've never eaten before or I wouldn't never normally cook or it was quite easy. Like each one has um, a level on it. So where's the level? There is like a level of how hard it is. Where is it? And what I like about the recipe while I'm just looking at for the level is that it does actually say like two to four people. So here, if I wanted to make this again, I could like it, at home, I could double it up and it tells me how much I need to use for like four people. Oh, where's the level? Uh, there is a level on here. I don't know where it is, but it will say like level two or level one. And it's that's how hard it is. Um, and I dived in with the hardest one, <laughs> but it was super tasty. I will say though that I feel like 45 minutes, it says hands on 30 minutes. So we'll just use this one for example. 35 minutes it said to, to cook this. It did not. It took me like an hour and a half, almost two hours. So maybe I'm not fast enough or maybe, I don't know. Like I make spaghetti bolognese all the time. Okay, I make spaghetti bolognese all the time and I can blast it. Um, I don't know if it's because I was following a specific recipe, but I just literally, it took me ages. The garlic bread though, super tasty. You literally blend up garlic, the herbs, um, olive oil, you mix it together, you put it onto the bun, it was delish. I'm definitely making that from scratch. Why did I ever buy garlic bread already made? So that's something. See, it is really good because it's putting me out of my comfort zone, but it kind of, um, it's tricky. <laughs> so yeah, um, I will say though that the food that come it was really good quality and that's what I'm I'm quite glad. Like the tomatoes did taste really good. Like the, um, you know, everything was great, but there was just, it's not enough for me to want to spend 30 quid a week on it. Um, and you can change your deliveries and pause it and it's quite easy to cancel your account. I will say that. But um, will I be getting this box again? Apart from one that's coming Tuesday that I have to pay for, no. <laughs> I'm gonna be probably very honest, I don't care, no. 
Um, if it was easy, if they'd said to me, okay, no problem, you cancelled your order, not a problem, I would have. But the fact that literally, like, the day after, which is like, it was like nine o'clock in the morning, I contacted them. They were fast to contact me, it was great on the online chat, but they were like, no, we can't cancel it. And that really bothers me because, or, and also, I went on there to, when I reactivated my account, to see what menu I could pick, and I couldn't because it had already been chosen. Um, I will say that nowhere in the, um, sorry, I'm just playing with my hair, it's quite mewing. Um, nowhere in the um, sign up does it say um, any of this information about if you cancel your account, you still have to pay for the next upcoming box. And I think that's really cheeky. Like even if I paid like, because they always have codes on there, they have like 70% off or 50% off your first box. So I worked out to be, with the 70% off Valentine's deal, it was 13.50. Even if I paid 13.50 for the box, um, or 30, or 29.99, full price for the box, I wouldn't have to then expect to pay if I cancel. So there is that little loophole. But what do I say this box is at? Not out of 10, I would say this is about an, an eight, seven. And that's positive. Because the food's really good, it's really tasty, it pushes out of our comfort zones. It's really good if you work, and you both work, and you just don't have time to cook. It's really easy, because I didn't have to worry about going out and getting all this stuff. Um, spending a lot on shopping. It's really good. So overall, it's a meh kind of video. Um, there will be more in my blog post. Um, also, there'll be pictures on the screen. And if you are new, I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't normally do negative videos like this, but yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow my Instagram because it's on my food highlights, it's food on my profile, and you can see me making the curried pie, which was really good. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.